next question question 33 what is the middle term of the sequence is a descent y y y x x x x w w w w w up to a so this is the sequence given so as you can see z is repeating two times y is repeating three times x is repeating four times w is repeating five times and it goes like that so uh to find the middle term so we 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 can write uh, we can write this uh, two uh three four up to what a is repeating how many times uh how can we can find that say uh here is it is a 26th alphabet so if we, you can see 28 minus 26th alphabet is 2 uh, and similarly y is 25 alphabet 28 minus 25 is 3 so 28 minus the alpha alphabet uh, the which number will give uh, what this number how many times it is repeating so 28 minus uh, a is what one first alphabet so a is repeating 27 times so 27 we get this as the sequence so now as you can see z is repeating two times y is repeating three times uh, w is repeating four times and a is repeating 27 times that is what i have written here now what is the middle term to find the middle term what we need to do find all the number of alphabets which is nothing but 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 27 so we we need to add all these up and divide by 2 uh, divide it by 2 to get the middle term so how can uh, how we can add all this term we can use the sum formula in a sequence this is a sequence with the difference of 1 so uh, we can easily use the sum formula sum formula in a simplified manner is nothing but first number plus last number into total number of numbers by 2 this is the sum formula sum of sequence formula so here first number is 2 last number is 27 total number of numbers in here will be what 26 alphabets are there so we have 26 numbers so 26 by 2 so if you do it we get 13 into 29 so 13 into 29 is nothing but so 13 into 13 will be uh, 3 th 390 390 minus 13 uh, this is also we can write 390 minus 13 or 377 so 377 is 29 into 13 and uh, when we have 377 numbers what will be the middle term 377 by 2 since it's an odd number 377 by 2 plus 1 so uh, why if we have four numbers say we have seven numbers how will we find the middle term middle term is nothing but uh, 4 that we can find by 7 by 2 plus 1 uh, 7 by 2 uh, without fraction uh, that is 7 by 2 uh, 7 so or, or we can just write 7 plus sorry 7 plus 1 by 2 7 plus 1 by 2 or 8 by 2 so which is 4 uh, so this is how we find the middle term so similarly we have 377 terms so 378 by uh, 378 378 by 2 is um, so 1 uh, 17 8 16 189 so 189th term is the middle term so we got our 189 as the middle term so now what does that mean so if you expand this uh, if you expand this to 1 uh, to, uh, to 1 this is x to 3 and this is x to 4 similarly if you expand this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, 189th term will be the middle term so we don't have that expansion so what we do we know that uh, if when we keep on adding this 2 plus 3 plus 4 some sum at say uh, at some number uh, n at some number n uh, when we keep on adding it uh, we will get 189 so if if some n uh, 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus up to n gives 189 what does that mean that middle term is the last number last person in this n okay uh, so belong to this this alphabet what whatever this alphabet is will belong to that alphabet 
so uh, again we can use the sum formula uh, again a plus l plus n by 2 so uh, that means 2 plus here last number is our n uh, into total number will be uh, here n minus 1 right um, the 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n if since it is starting with 2 total number of digits will be uh, n minus 1 by 2 so we have to find some n such that 2 plus n into n minus 1 by 2 gives 189 so this is this is a quadratic equation uh, you don't have to solve this quadratic equation uh, you can see whether uh, whether there is any easier easy formula uh, some values of n satisfies this okay uh, n minus 1 into n plus 1 uh, we can bring 2 to the other side if you want so uh, 189 into 2 is nothing but 378 so if you factorize 378 uh, you can see uh, 378 is uh, 378 by uh, 3, 1, 3, 7, mm, 2, 6, 18, 9, 129 into 3, uh, 12, this again goes 3, 129, uh, 129 by 3 is 4 into 3, 12, 9, 43. So 43 into 9, or we have 43 into 9. So, uh, 9. Sorry, there is a mistake somewhere. <laughs> Where did 2 go? Uh, 378. Okay. Just sorry for that. I'll just do it again. Uh, so we know that 378, uh, 378 is 190, 189 into 2 or 189 uh, goes with 3 which is 63 right 6 into 3 is 18 63 so 63 into uh, 6 uh, again it goes with 3 again uh, so 63 uh, 21 uh, into uh, 6 into 3 18 so if you see it is 21 into 18 uh, this this 378 so if you see it uh, we need n plus 2 into n minus 1 uh, so uh, looking at this we can see n equal to 19 fixes this equation right 19 minus 1 is 18 this will be 18 uh, 19 plus 2 will be 21 21 into 18 so n equal to 19 so we get n equal to 19 uh, if you want uh, you can um, uh, do it in uh, the do it in a quarter uh, solve it as a quadratic form it's not needed uh, yeah we'll see n equal to 19 is the um, by factorizing we can see what all possibilities are there so yeah n equal to 19 is the possibility so we got this as 19 so now we can see we uh, we need to know uh, what uh, alphabet since it's in the reverse order uh, what alphabets it uh, what alphabet is mapped it to the 19th number uh, so here as you can see 2 is uh, 26th alphabet is mapped to 2 first alphabet is mapped to 27 so similarly uh, we already saw the formula 28 minus n the n this 19 is we got as 19 so n is nothing but uh, 28 minus 19 which is as you can see 9 so ninth alphabet we have ninth alphabet as our answer what is ninth alphabet a b c d e so a b c d e f g h i 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so ninth alphabet is i so our answer will be b i so i know this is a complicated answer uh, so but it involves lot of um, um, calculations it is taking too much time also so I don't know why they come up with such questions in the exam hall I don't I'm not sure whether there is any simpler method to solve this this is all I can think of otherwise you will have to just write every number and add it up uh, individually without using any formula that will take more time uh, this is more easier I feel yeah anyway uh, this is my solution if if someone knows any simpler solution uh, do comment i will look into it
Anyway, this is the solution to question 33. Option B is the answer. I. I is the solution. Alphabet I is the middle term. If we arrange it like this. If you find this solution too confusing or too difficult, you can also do this question in a simpler way. Probably that will take more time. That that's why I didn't go through that solution uh, through that method. I'll show you how. So in that method, you have to you will have to best way is to list list all the alphabets. So we'll just list all the alphabets. A uh, A is repeating twenty seven times. So B is repeating. 26 uh, times C is repeating 25 times D 24 E 23 F 22 G 21 H 20 I 19 J 18 K 17 L 16 M 15 N 14 O 13 P 12 Q 11 R 10 S 9 T 8 U 7 uh, V 6 U V W five X four Y V W X Y three Z two. So we got all the in the order. Now we just sum it up. Instead of using any formula, you just sum it up. Instead of summing up uh, uh, some uh, summing up uh, we'll just do one thing we'll just add add this and write and we'll go 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 5 is 14 14 plus 6 is 20 20 plus 7 is 27 27 plus 8 uh, is 35 35 plus 9 is what 44 44 plus 10 is 54 uh, 54 plus 11 is 65 65 plus 12 is 78 78 plus 3 one mistake you make everything messes up so be careful when you do such solution okay uh, 54 plus 11 is 65 65 plus 12 is 78 78 plus 3 uh, 13 uh, is uh, 91 uh, 91 plus 14 is 90 105 105 plus 15 120 uh, sorry uh, 105 plus 15 is um, uh, sorry uh, 120 120 plus 16 is 136 136 plus 17 uh, 136 plus 17 is uh, 146 uh, 146 plus 7 18 uh, 153 153 153 plus 18 163 163 plus 8 uh, 171 171 plus 19 189 189 189 plus 20 is uh, 200 and uh, 9 right 189 plus 20 okay 209 plus 21 so 200 and uh, twin, uh, 230 230 plus 22 252 252 plus 
so as you see we got all the numbers we need earlier we got 377 as our sum we individually summed it up if you don't the, know the formula you could do individually the advantage of summing up like this is this is all the number we need so we uh, the moment we get 377 uh, 377 plus 1 by 2 we get 189 as our uh, middle number and we already have that 189 189 189 we got 171 plus uh, 18 sorry 170 uh, uh, we added 171 and 19 uh, sorry 18 all right mm. 189 is uh, let me just see uh, 2 2 plus 3 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17th number so this is 5 so from here uh, 17th number will be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17. So I so the reason I had to do that was I didn't write it neatly. If you write it neatly, you will clearly see 189 will be I. Uh, so quickly you can say I is the middle. So uh, I I am not sure whether which one took more time. This is this does not involve any formula. So most of the question in the UPSC exam uh, doesn't need. Uh, doesn't need um, uh, doesn't want you to remember any formula. You can do it in a simple manner but it will it will take time knowing formulas will make it make things simpler you will be able to do questions fast in a faster way so even this is possible if you do in this way also you can find the answer so this is uh, this is one way to do it or if you know the formula as i see i haven't written any sum i haven't calculated any sum so this is more error free so here since lot of addition is there if, even if we miss by one it will be too complicated to uh, it will we will not notice and it will be too complicated to find that where we made error so since we um, got the sum in the first go itself the correct so we got our answer very quick anyway this is also a solution you can choose whichever solution method you want uh, yeah okay so anyway this is one uh, this is the solution to question 33 solution to question 33 is bi 